Okay, so this is video, or part 38, I believe, of my community site series, and we're working on profile comments. So, we've pretty much got the, the functionality down and everything, um, and there, we just made it so you can't double submit, or triple submit, um, comments. And now what we're going to do is, before we set this message, we're going to say, um, we're going to email the user email profile owner um, now to do this I'm going to scroll up and up here we have first name last name and email commented out so I'm going to uncomment those because we're going to use those three variables and I'm gonna scroll back down down here and I'm going to set some variables so webmaster equals now this is where you would put your email or whatever email you want it to be from is going to be admin at basicnick.com and then we want to set our headers equal to um, from colon now in from the, the F must be capital you must have a space uh, a colon and a space after from and then we're going to say dollar sign webmaster now if you wanted to say it was from like you want to put someone's name so if we say if this is this is going to be from basic nick um, and then it's going to be admin at basic nick .com, that's going to be the email from um, then we want to set the subject equal to um, dollar sign username has commented on your profile and then we're going to set a message variable not an msg a message uh, and we're not going to set that just yet and then we're just going to have the mail function um, and that starts out email and then our subject and then our message and then the headers so that'll actually send the email. So send email. Um, now our message, I'm gonna say hello, first name, and then last name. So it makes it seem kind of formal. Um, hello, first name, last name. So hello, Bob Jones. Um, dollar sign username. So the person who is commenting has posted oops, has posted a comment on your profile on basicnick.com and I'm actually going to make this capital B and a capital N and then after that I'm going to do a new line say message dot equals so period equals so we're gonna append text to this so this will put this on the next line act and inside of here um, the message um, actually that won't put it on the next line it'll just put it on the very end of over there so I'm gonna put a space the message username has posted um, yeah, posted with is below. To view your, oh no, actually we won't do that yet. And then we're going to do a backslash n, so that'll give us a new line. And then we're going to say message dot equals. And inside of here, I'm going to say backslash n. And then I'm going to put in a bunch of asterisks, asterisks. Uh, to give it a nice little uh, indentation and then backslash n backslash n I'm going to duplicate the line right there so obviously this isn't required um, but I'm just going to do it um, and then here I'm going to put the comment variable um, so yeah so that'll that'll put that comment variable there and I'm actually not going to put quotes here, but I am going to put the NL2BR. 
So actually we won't need to do that, so we will need the quotes. So that'll put the user's message there. And then just scroll back over. Um, a couple more lines. Message. Um, right here I'm going to put backslash n. So it'll put our comment in a nice little space. So message dot equals um, click here to view username apostrophe s profile and then we'll have our site variable comma profile question mark um, ID equals and this is going to be the user ID and then let's we'll say forward slash n and we'll duplicate that line and we'll say click here to view your profile and this is going to be um, our get ID variable so it'll make it look nice and neat and then that is pretty much it um, yeah, so that's about it. That should take care of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm temporarily going to, um, uncom or comment out the area where it makes it so we can't comment on our own profile. I'm going to temporarily comment it out. And that's just so I can test this, so I won't have to bother anybody. Um, so I can just test it outright. So do that. If we go to my profile, and if we comment, we'll say, This is a test comment. This is, um, sorry, enter, enter, this is a new line and we will click comment uh, you cannot submit the same comment twice huh okay that's kind of problematic um, so we need to scroll up here we something with our query hmm Oh, that's why that should be just not equal zero. So re-upload. If we refresh and resend, um, your comment has been added and is shown above. So our comments there posted by Basic Nick on October eighth. This is a test comment, and then this is a new line. So everything's working. Um, just one more comment. Oops. Click comments. Uh, and just to show you that it will show the newest comments first, right there. So it's showing the newest comments. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and open up my email that's attached to this account. And to show you that I actually did get the email. Okay, so I've got my email open here. Um, and it says, hello, my name. Uh, Basic Nick has posted a comment on your profile on basicnick.com. The message Basic Nick has posted, um, posted with is below. Um, now there is an extra line here, which we can easily fix, so right here, let's take away that line, and um, do -do. should be good, actually, yeah, I'm going to take away that line. Um, so if we can re-upload that, so everything's there, and then we have the second comment right here. Um, so everything's there. So, yep. And then, yeah. Go ahead and close my email. Um, so our commenting system is working. It's emailing the user and everything. So that's pretty much it. Um, this ends the profile comment um, section, if you will. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Um, click on structure so I can now browse so it'll show all three comments and I'm going to empty the database and then so now that it's emptied I also want to uncomment this stuff out 
to make it so you can't um, comment on your own profile. Upload the file. And I am going to go to, or if I just refresh this page actually, don't want to resend it's my profile. If we go back to it, see there's no profile comments now. Um, if I go to that, the person who requested this tutorial, HD WWW, uh, Clips, I'm going to comment on his profile saying, Hey man, I just finished the um, profile comment tutorials. Comments. Your comment has been added and shown above. So everything's there. Everything's good. And uh, this concludes this uh, section of this. Um, if you have an idea of something you want uh, me to do for the series, uh, comment on one of the videos. I read all my comments. Um, or send me a message and I will reply to it. I reply to all my comments and messages. Um, so yeah so the source code will be updated with um, the three videos I think it is for the profile comments and you will be able to get the source code alright peace out